Hello, my name is Susan Meek, and I'm here with you today to share a meditation for the Lenten season from Richland Lutheran Church. It has been my joy to be a member of this congregation since early childhood, and this group of believers have been instrumental in my growth as a Christian. Two of the most influential people in my Christian life have been my mother and father, who gave me guidance and love, encouragement and discipline. Part of my memories of life in the congregation included the weekly Lenten services that helped us to focus on this time of reflection and repentance. Another part of my memories are the writings my mother used to do and prepare for some of these Lenten services. I would like to share one of those with you today. Um, it is in the form of a poem and was written for Holy Week, the week leading up to the celebration of our Lord Jesus' resurrection. It is full of imagery. And if you would like, you may close your eyes and reflect on the images this poem brings to your heart and mind. I hope the images that uh, my mother was able to bring into my life will bless your life as well. This poem is called Moments in Passion. O oh, people of Israel, of Jerusalem, waving your palm branches, you revel in your exultation and songs of praise. But tomorrow, tomorrow will they echo in hollow mockery? Is it enough that you cheer him today? Will you remember your cheering when you shout in derision? Is it enough? O oh, Jerusalem, is it enough? And O oh, you holy ones in the temple, are your Passover sacrifices enough to atone for your actions tomorrow? Are your offerings from the heart or are they from habit? Is it enough? One lamb or one pigeon? Is it enough? And you, O oh crafty one who sits at his table, your eyes are veiled with webs of greed. Is 30 pieces of silver enough? Oh, Judas, for what you are about to do, is 30 pieces of silver enough? Oh, beloved ones, will you watch while he prays? His strength is wavering. Will you watch for him? He goes where you cannot. Are you sleeping? You who followed him from village to hillside? You who have touched the hem of his robe? Is it enough that you sleep while his soul cries out in agony? Is it enough? Oh, beloved ones, is it enough? Oh, dark Gethsemane, the evening dew glistens like teardrops. The garden weeps in silent knowledge. The morning sun will dry your tears. The soft breeze will straighten the bl blades of grass where he lay. You sense an evil, evil that your quiet beauty cannot restrain. The branches from your trees bend low to shield him. It is not enough. You have tried but it is not enough. O oh, day of darkness, where is your sun? Can it not bear to shed its light on the spotless lamb? The sacrificial fires burn hot in the hearts of men. The very earth trembles and moves in protest. O oh, day of darkness, your dawn will come too late but your evening will see fulfillment. You question, is it enough? And your answer comes from God. It is enough. It is all. I thank you for taking your time to listen to and take this meditation into your heart. And I would like to close with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, I praise your holy name 
and ask that these words fall upon the ears of those who need to hear them. Bless each person that hears these words with your love, grace, and mercy. Send them your Holy Spirit to open their hearts and minds to your words of salvation and love. In your most precious and holy name we pray. Amen.